Welcome to another podcast video and today I'm doing it on bump steer and uh, I think this is a topic that I didn't know a huge amount about. Uh, always got told or advised to go a certain route with bump steer and uh, so I decided to research it a little bit and uh, find out a bit more about bump steer and its application in uh, our little toy cars and hopefully I can give you some insight into what bump steer is if you don't know it already. So what we're looking at on the screen here is uh, from above the front wheel of a, of a toy car. Obviously on the left hand side you've got the, uh, the wheel, the tile, the axle, uh, you've obviously got the center line, you've got the wheel hub, uh, the red turn buckle, is the uh, attachment to the servo. Uh, you've got the top brace, uh, bottom brace is obviously going to be underneath the top brace. Uh, you've got steering linkage. Um, and so that's a, a perspective of, of us looking down on the top of the car. And the bottom of the screen would obviously be, um, would be the front of the car. If we then uh, change our perspective uh, on the bottom of the screen now, we're now looking um, from the front of the car uh, and on the top image, uh, again, we're looking down on the top of the car as well. So what I want to draw your attention to is um, how the turnbuckle acts on the wheel as it goes over bumps. Now, um, because the turnbuckle radius is shorter than the top arm radius, when the wheel starts to move up and down, it will actually make the turnbuckle move on an arc that's signified by the uh, hashed line at the end of the red turnbuckle. And when we usually get uh, an RC car and, and we're sort of putting it together, invariably the turnbuckle isn't parallel to the upper and lower arm. So I'm just going to go back to the original clip. So you can see at this moment in time the turnbuckle is parallel to the top arm and the lower arm. So these two uh, radiuses are different um, but the key point here is when the turnbuckle arm is parallel at standstill it's reached its most outer point of the radius. When we then move the servo up in this case, which has now created an angle on the turnbuckle, um, it's going to have an effect on the wheels, which I'll come on to in a moment. And you can see that the turnbuckle is no longer parallel to the top arm and obviously to the bottom arm. And so therefore, as I mentioned, the the radius of the turnbuckle hasn't reached the full arc uh, when it's in a static position when the wheel travel changes it'll have an effect on the turning which i'll go into in a second so there's the two different radius points when the turnbuckle is parallel and when the turnbuckle is angular as i say i'm going to come on to that in a minute but we're going to first go back to the effects on the front wheel and and I want you to make uh, draw your attention to the top image here as things start to move so when the uh, turnbuckle when it's horizontal because it's on its outside radius or the the, uh, the widest part of its radius um, they're all at maximum and when the wheel starts to to move because when the wheel moves up on the lower image when it's going over a bump effectively the radius of the turnbuckle is getting shorter and so because it gets shorter it will pull the wheel uh, towards center in this case um, then when the suspension goes back to flat and I appreciate that the top and lower arms don't move like this in uh, a 12 scale car 
in the usual form of an off-road car, but they are flexing, and when they're flexing, they are creating this environment. Now the uh, top and lower arm moves down again, and you can see once again the turnbuckle is pulled shorter by the top image, and it now pulls the wheel back towards the center line again. And this keeps on going all the time the wheels are moving up and down. All the time they're moving up and down, the wheel is always moving towards the center line. Now, going back to what I refer, referenced at the start, the turnbuckle at the bottom, when it's angled, you can see it's not reached its full radius. And this is notified by the two white arrows. You can see that the radius on the arm that is the turnbuckle arm that is parallel to the upper and lower arms is actually a, a greater radius. So let's now look at what's going to happen when the steering travel goes through uh, the suspension load. So now when the suspension pushes up, because the radius of the turnbuckle hasn't reached its maximum in the previous image, it's now actually going to push the wheel away from the center line. It then goes back down and low and, and so it unloads the suspension. It pulls the turnbuckle back the other way and now is going to pull the wheel back towards the center line. So because of the way the uh, turnbuckle has been preset, and I'll just go back to those two images, you can see as it goes up, the arc of the turnbuckle is greater. So the radius is in increasing, which is pushing the wheel away. The sus suspension unloads, the wheel comes down, and it's now going to pull the wheel towards the center line. So two very different uh, wheel travels because the bump steer wasn't set uh, horizontal to start with. Now this, uh, in many cases, can't can be a negative effect but there are certain cases and applications where this can actually be useful and, and one of them might be over actually bumpy bumpy tracks if you're potentially going round a bend that's got some bump on it um, and the suspension loads you might actually want the uh, want the wheel to not grab as hard and make the car unstable so th th this is certainly something to play around with and and to have a go at so hopefully uh, this presentation has given you some insight into what bump steer is, how it impacts the front wheels, and uh, gives you uh, another little tuning aid to potentially improve your performance. If you've liked the video, click a like, share it with your friends, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and there'll be more videos coming your way soon. Wishing you a good afternoon, and uh, stay safe out there, and we'll see you all trackside soon.